Welcome to the channel. Today we have a brand new Apex Legends video. With the release of Season 14, we now have a new legend added to the Apex games. This video will cover several tips to help you hit the ground running with Vantage in order to dominate with her in your games in Season 14. Now before we hop right into the video, my channel is going to have tons of Season 14 content with tips, guides, and plenty of videos to help get you guys on that championship banner. So if you want to improve as a player, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and join the Bears Den. And without further ado, let's get right into this Vantage character guide. So I just wanted to start this video off first and foremost by saying in my previous video, before getting hands-on testing of the legend, man, I was totally wrong. I thought Vantage was going to be underwhelming with a low damage sniper and a slow moving tactical ability, but holy cow, I was wrong. If you're looking for an extremely fun legend that has movement capabilities, she can provide intel to her entire team, and she has a sniper that's practically almost always online and gives you a third weapon to use, then you have to try out Vantage. She is honestly an extremely good legend in Apex because she can play so many different roles. With her mobility you're able to play somewhat of a fragger and aggressive role because you can set up your tactical and have a quick get out of jail movement ability or you can play a support role with her taking the back lines and anchoring the team with some ranged damage to allow your teammates to do more damage in fights. So that's tip number one with Vantage, and that is playing the role needed in your squad. If your team needs a flanker in a certain scenario, then play that flanker role with her tactical. Vantage is exceptional at creating off angles from her team and quickly reaching a quality sniper location to take the shot. Now also, if you're needed to get in an area quick and do entry damage, then help your team that way. Read each scenario as the legend and act accordingly to help because she can really do it all. Now let's break down Vantage's tactical tactical ability echo and provide you with several ways to effectively use this ability in game. Now pressing the tactical button will launch echo up to 40 meters. If echo is deployed, pressing the tactical button will reposition echo from vantage. Holding down the tactical button will launch vantage to echo. This takes one second and will start the 20 second cooldown. Now if you time it right, you can double jump to boost yourself once you reach echo. You can even tap strafe jump like you would off of an octane jump pad with this ability, which is amazing for precise repositioning. So you can launch towards echo in a straight line and then proceed to turn and land towards the left or right for example. You can also time a crowd or hold crouch at the right time while traveling towards echo to lower your descent quickly and you can also change direction and strafe away in order to not fully travel towards echo if it is unsafe now echo will automatically follow around vantage with a distance of 55 meters that's the max distance so basically you can throw out echo for a max of 40 meters and then you can leave echo for a total of 55 meters now when you get to greater than 55 meters echo will start to follow you but the funny thing is if you outrun echo such as taking a jump pad or a zip line you can then call yourself back to echo at an even greater distance to launch even further this tactical will also persist on the map until being recalled by the utility button, somewhat like the crypto drone. And the recall is based on the distance required for Echo to travel towards Vantage at the rate of 20 meters per second. So when utilizing Echo, you don't want to have the bat placed in one specific location for far too long because players will recognize where you're going to reposition. For the most part, the best use of Echo that I have found is to quickly throw out Echo and hold your tactical button immediately. This lets you get a quick double jump in a forward direction away from your enemies or you could use this to quickly push towards an enemy or quickly evade more gunfire. If you have time to prep, I do recommend placing Echo on high ground and utilizing him to your advantage for safety. For example, I had a team that was banner camping my teammate's box, so I walked on top of the bones at Skulltown, let Echo chill at the top of the bones, and I was able to drop down, grab the banner, and then boost back up to height for a nice getaway. So look for specific locations to be accurate and set up Echo for escapes or take advantageous positions to snipe from. I also highly recommend practicing your best dance moves while you're waiting for Echo to launch. When you immediately throw out Echo and you need to reposition due to danger, you're gonna have to stall for one second before you can launch. And this is where you need to utilize your best weaving tactics and juke moves or tap strafes to dodge bullets, but 
keep line of sight on Echo at the very last second so you can launch to him as soon as possible. If you can't make eyesight with the bat, you can't launch to him, so try and keep that ability to keep line of sight when launching towards him. Now all in all, make sure you're utilizing your tech to gain high ground for your sniper shots, recall him often to have him in your pocket for quick getaways, gain off angles for shots, and flank enemies with echo. If you're going to push someone in high ground, make sure you do damage first because you'll be vulnerable as you're in the air about to land. Also when you begin your launch towards echo, you only need that line of sight towards the very end so it's possible to activate the launch and chill behind cover and time it right for a smooth getaway when you finally look at Echo as soon as you're about to launch. Now Vantage's ultimate ability is called Sniper's Mark and she's equipped with a sniper round every 40 seconds. That is actually incredible, such a good ability. This means you're gonna have it constantly and have access to three weapons in your arsenal in the Apex games. It takes a total of three minutes, 20 seconds to acquire the maximum five rounds and using an ultimate accelerant immediately gives you two rounds to fire. You can also land at charge towers early on Kings Canyon to immediately have five deadly shots in your arsenal. The ultimate is unlike any other because it can be utilized as soon as a round is available. The sniper comes with a custom 3x8x optics, dealing 50 base damage with a 1.5 headshot multiplier. On each hit, it marks the enemy for 10 seconds and applies a 15% damage vulnerability from all sources. Subsequent hits on marked enemies will deal 2 times damage and will reset the mark to 10 seconds. This weapon truly makes Vantage a force in the Apex games because she can dish out so much damage with her sniper. Not to mention the bullet projectile speed is extremely fast, meaning you practically just need to point and shoot without worrying much about bullet drop. Mainly what you're focusing on with Vantage Sniper is calling out enemies for your teammates on who you're focusing for your teammate to team shoot. They will receive extra damage when you hit, so your team can drop people immediately fast with good teamwork and good team fire. Don't forget to use your sniper at mid range and even at close range to get a buff to all your weapons to drop that enemy especially fast and your teammates can help to drop them faster as well. Now the devs at Respawn did make a smart decision in adding a laser sight to Vantage's sniper rifle, so when you or an enemy aims down the sights, other players can see an orange laser. This will allow you to prepare for any snipers looking your way and you need to remember that when you're scouting an area, it's important to zoom without your sniper and with her lenses that passive ability, that way a laser sight will not reveal your location that you're scouting. So lastly, that brings me into her final ability, and that's her passive ability, Spotter's Lens. This ability can be used when unarmed or when the equipped weapon has an optic providing two times magnification or greater, with the exception of the one by two variable hollow. To use it while unarmed, equip your ultimate or sniper and then holster the sniper like any other weapon and aim down your sights. When unarmed, it provides a three times magnification. When you ping the targeted enemy, it will report that particular enemy's armor type and whether they have a full squad. Aiming down sights at enemies with vantage allows players to see what legends enemies are using, their current distance, and their tier of their evo shields. Information is power in Apex Legends, and by using Vantage's passive, players can make decisions about how and when to engage their enemies. Make sure you're communicating to your team about the weakest maybe member in that party with the weakest armor, so you can try and focus on the other team and plan accordingly based on that team composition. For example, you and your team could decide to take maybe a higher ground position over a group of enemies if you notice they lack some verticality, and if their team has legends that have a difficult time with pushing enemies off the high ground like caustic so use this tactical information to your advantage and get the jump on your enemies in the apex games all right guys so there it is i know vantage is such a new and fun legend i just had to get all these tips out there for her right now as i continue to learn and grow with her throughout the season we could revisit her on the channel in an ultimate guide to go even more in depth so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that video or any future videos and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm grizzy and i'm out peace